वन ऑलवेज नोटिस जय गोलू देवता रिटर्न ऑन कार्स स्पेशली गोइंग टूवर्ड्स उत्तरांचल हु इज दिस गोलू देवता इज अ क्वेश्चन आई एड ऑलवेज रास्ट माई सेल्फ एंड सो इन वन ऑफ माई ट्रिप्स टू द हिल्स रिसेंटली आई फिगर आउट द मिस्ट्री ऑफ गोलू देवता एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर डिटेल्स अबाउट गोलू देवता एंड हिज टेम्पल एंड वॉट इज स्पेशल अबाउट दिस टेम्पल वेयर इज दिस टेम्पल हाउ टू गेट देयर एंड वेन टू गो The temple is around seven to seven and a half hours away from Delhi, in Ghora Khal, which is in the district of Neni Tal. It is not very far from the Neem Karoli Baba Ashram, an ashram that is popular all across the world. It is at a height of eighteen hundred and five meters, atop a mountain with lots of cool breeze flowing, and one can visit it all year round. There are two entrances to this temple. Many people enter from one side and exit from the other. On one entrance you have the Sainik School Ghora Khal and on the other side you have a small shopping complex. There is a board on the shopping side of the temple that says in Hindi, "This is the temple of justice, the house of God. Say what you wish for, there is nothing to be scared of." To reach Ghora Khal, one can take a flight to Dehradun and then proceed via car. If one wishes to drive, it is around seven and a half hours from New Delhi. I would suggest leaving early in the morning to beat the traffic, if possible by four a.m. because there's a lot of construction going on, and on the hills there's always some or the other road which is blocked because of landslides. There are many things that are special about this temple. It is said that this temple is the temple of justice where one gets what one wishes for. This temple is also called the temple of bells or ghanti wala mandir. You can also easily see in the video that the temple is covered in bells. So the belief is that if you wish for something and your wish comes true then you have to tie a bell here the numerous number of bells seen here are a testimony of the numerous wishes that have come true of the visitors while most small bells have no engraving of the donator but the large bells donated here have an engraving as you walk through the temple premises you will notice various beautiful flags and letters hung and tied these letters are written by people of all ages including young children a very sweet letter written by a child caught my eye and so i started reading it one of the temple pandits saw me reading the letter and requested me not to read it because it was someone's deepest wish So if you come here do not read the letters as it is not appreciated. One can do a perambulation or parikrama of the temple and also see various parts of the temple. 
especially the trees and the valley below it. All those parts of the temple are captured by me. And amongst all the beautiful murtis of devis and devtas, there is a very beautiful life-size murti of Kalima. Now the question is, who is this Golu Devta and what is so special about him? One of the temple priests told me a fascinating history of the temple deity Golu Devta. The deity goes with various names like Gwel, Goria, Goriel. The word Gwel means circular. According to the ancient story, he used to organize round gatherings in various places for people to get justice. Therefore, because of these round gatherings, he got nicknamed Gwel or Golu Devta, which means circular. He is born in the Kathyur dynasty and he is the son of King Jhal Rahi and Mata Kalingi. The priest told me that the king was childless and had seven, eight wives. When a child was born to the youngest wife, then the other senior co-wives of the king put the baby in a basket and put him in a river. They then showed the king a grinding stone or a silbatta and claimed that the youngest wife had given birth to that. The young baby was rescued by a fisherman and it was much later that the baby was recognized as the prince. By that time, the prince was much fond of being a free person and interacting with the various monks and hermits who lived in these mountains. It is this association with the dharmic monks that shaped the young prince to become dharmic and bring justice to his subjects. It is a well-known fact that one of the main duties of a king is dharm and justice for his subjects. The priest who told me this fascinating story said he also belonged to the same dynasty as the king, which is the Kathyur dynasty. I hope you enjoyed Gwail Devta's temple history and also the visit through my eyes. Do subscribe to my channel and let me know in comments if you have been there or plan to go there. Mm -hmm.